Recently, we've had a lot of people contact us to talk about crypto inventory. What is crypto inventory? So it is the process of going around your IT infrastructure and working out wherever it is that you're using cryptography. A lot of organizations have already got a policy for cryptography, so they already have some way of saying, in our organization, I only want to use RSA keys that are a certain length, I only want to use AES keys that are a certain length, I don't want to use any old hash functions like MD5 or SHA-1. So crypto inventory is the process of checking that your infrastructure really does respect the policy that you've put down. More and more people are being asked to do this by their auditors or their own risk assessment organization has worked out they need to do it. But there are other good reasons to do crypto inventory as well. So you might want to do crypto inventory to check that your crypto really follows your policy, or you might want to do it to prepare for post-quantum cryptography. So if you're going to upgrade all of your asymmetric crypto to be quantum resistant, you first need to work out where it is you're using it and for what purposes. You might also want to do crypto inventory to prepare for migration to the cloud. You need to know what algorithms and what key management is going on inside your critical applications if you're going to build a version of that that's going to work on a public cloud provider's crypto services. Crypto agility is the ability to change cryptographic algorithm, library, key set in a short period of time when one needs to. That might be because an algorithm has been compromised, it might be because post quantum crypto is necessary, the quantum computers are coming faster than we thought. And the first step to doing that is to have an accurate inventory of where you're using all those crypto algorithms. Once you have that inventory, you can look to see where you have obstacles to crypto agility. So where do I have hard-coded in my application the name of the algorithm or the provider or the particular cipher suite I'm using that could be made independent so that I can then later on change it in an easy and modular way. When you do crypto inventory, you need to prioritize. You've only got a certain amount of resources. What are you going to do to make sure you use them in the best way? A typical approach is to rely on data classification. So if I'm using a, an application to treat customer data, personal identifying data, secrets of my company, then I want to know exactly what's going on with the crypto there. Whereas maybe in some other parts of the infrastructure where I haven't got the resources to really dive deep and there's no sensitive customer data, I can make do with a basic scan to understand what's going on. A CryptoSense, our tools can scan the cryptography you're using at all kinds of different levels. So at the highest level, we can scan the network. So we can look for network services, tell you what cipher suites are in use, what keys and certificates, and apply your policy to that. One level down from there, we can scan file systems. So we can pick up certificates, keys, key stores, crypto libraries, and so on. Down from that, we can scan inside applications. So a unique thing we can do at CryptoSense is track how an application calls its crypto libraries while it's running. So you understand not just what cryptography is possible from that code, but what crypto algorithms actually get used and from where when the application is running. This gives you the priority information that you really need to decide what you need to remediate and how you're going to upgrade that application to post-quantum crypto or plug it into a cloud crypto service provider. The way we do inventory at CryptoSense is to send all of the data we've captured from around the network, so from applications, from network services, from file system scans, into the CryptoSense Analyzer platform where we can apply a vulnerability analysis, export in a way that's suitable for visualization. So for example, in Kibana or Splunk, so that you can deal with the large volumes of data that you're going to have to look at. And we allow you to cross-reference those scans. So for example, you can answer the question, is certificate that I found on the network, where is it stored on the file system of that application? And when is it actually used when the application runs? So we give you a full 360 degree visibility on the cryptography in your infrastructure.